With schools back in session in the coming weeks, local districts may now need to rethink health policies. The COVID-19 vaccine is still not available for children younger than 12, and Idaho's vaccination rates for all students remains low. I talked about those statistics and a possible mask mandate in schools in this week's Making the Grade with Idaho Education News reporter Kevin Richard. 15% of 12 to 15 year olds were were fully vaccinated. That's the lowest vaccination rate in any age group in the state. Now, it, and it varies further. You know, the numbers are a little bit better in uh, the Central Health District, which takes in Ada County, but quite a bit lower in every other health district in the state, including uh, the Southwest District, which includes Canyon County. So you're seeing even geographic shifts that, you know, are lurking un underneath those overall numbers. So 15%. For your 12 to 15 year olds, it moves up, but not terribly much. 25% for 16 and 17 year olds, your, your high school age students, and 32% for 18 to 24 year olds, that would be you know, most college, college students. So very low vaccination rates for students relative to Idaho's overall vaccination rate, which is one of the lowest in the nation. So lots of concern in the health community about vaccination rates overall. Uh, and vaccination rates for students, especially now as the Delta variant uh, seems to be taking hold. What now with schools just weeks away? We've heard from most school districts, especially here locally, have said they are not going to institute a mask mandate as students go back to school. Are we going to see this change? I don't know. I mean, we've seen a very stark reversal from CDC today. I mean, just two and a half weeks ago, CDC came out with uh, new back to school guidelines saying uh, fully vaccinated uh, individuals don't have to wear a mask in school, you know, students and staff alike. Now the recommendation is, uh, is for masks in school. So you've seen you know, an about face from CDC and I think it's in the, the wake of these surging national numbers uh, and the concerns that the Delta variant is becoming the dominant strain of coronavirus and concerns that this is a more contagious version of coronavirus, more easily spread from one individual to the next. There is plenty more of this discussion. You can find my complete interview with Kevin Richard online. Head to IdahoNews6.com. With this Making the Grade report, I'm Michelle Edmonds.